Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. Today I will be showing you how to get the best graphical experience in Division 2 when it comes to gameplay and just improve the overall quality of the game. Now I know that there are probably many videos out there talking about this, but I recently have been getting a lot of people asking about my graphical settings and since I've done one for every single game that I've covered on this channel, mostly, then I decide it's time to have one for Division 2. I have one for Warframe, I have one for Destiny 2 as well. Now I use the same Premiere Pro that everyone uses so there are no editing tricks going on here. It's basically me recording gameplay footage and then just cutting it up in Premiere Pro. So the overall idea behind getting the best graphical experience or the best looks and performance in Division 2, ironically, it is tied behind the fact that less is actually better. Usually that is what you would say for performers, but that's also the reality and something that works well in this case for the graphics of the game. The Division 2 has a lot of graphical options and effects that would look great if you are recording cinematic shots or trailers. But when it comes to actual gameplay, PvP or PvE, the game screen becomes too busy. Not only is there a situation with the UI going all around the place, but there are also so many particles floating around even in a still shot. Couple that with the fact that all your skills, weapons and enemies create their own particles, you can have a very busy screen. So our goal is going to be to lower those things or even remove some of them. And you will notice that after doing this, you will get better performance and of course your gameplay and your screen will look a lot better. So I began by turning down or turning off all non-essential items and this includes a lot of particle effects, extra lighting options, maybe some shadows here and there. Now this doesn't mean I turned down the resolution because I still kept the resolution up where it is, I still kept the details where it is, it's just that some of this extra stuff, we have to remove them. Turning off depth of field is also a way to compensate for items that you lowered or turned off because when you turn off depth of field, it removes that thing that blurs the background. Now you have more details in your shots and you don't have to deal with having a busy screen. Video settings is not a really important factor here because it's mostly going to be based on your monitor. However, you also want to make sure that you have reduced latency turned on. I use a 144Hz monitor and I know a lot of people will say, well, that's probably the reason why it looks smooth, it looks better. But it's not just about smoothness, it's about having all this stuff going on on your screen. Now, this is the next and most important part. When it comes to content creator side of YouTube, I have to take into consideration that YouTube still does not do well with particle effects and any resolution below 1440p. This is why it is important for you even as a content creator to reduce the particles in your gameplay before you start recording them. And of course you want to upload at the highest resolution possible because if it is at 1080p or lower. YouTube is going to over compress your gameplay videos, especially when they're under gaming category. This is because gaming videos are the most occupying YouTube servers, so they are compressing gaming videos the most. So you want to be aware of that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.